my gorgeous soul. Welcome to your November astrology. Of course, we are deep in Scorpio season. Mercury is going retrograde and we're swimming in the underworld for most of the month. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Sagittarius, you wild pony. This month is a mixed bag, but it is also sprinkled with fabulous for you and could be excellent when it comes to your relationships and love. Let's start at the beginning and of course Mercury, the planet of communication, is going retrograde confusing everyone and you are trebly confused because it's in your 12th house of illusion. <laughs> so you might find yourself in situations where you feel people are taking advantage of your boundaries. In fact you might not even know what your boundaries are. What are my boundaries? You may be saying to yourself but the good news is Venus, the planet of love, Right from the 1st of November, UK time is going into your sign. So you're like, yeah, love magnet. You're giving off the love vibes. People are drawn to you. And you're feeling, you know, in your heart, very positive and very loving. And you've got a lot of empathy and care for other people. Happy days. And Jupiter, the planet of good fortune that's been with you all year. I mean, how was your year? You know, I can practically guarantee that something positive happened or if not something that you did this year will end up bringing very positive rewards but this is the last month that Jupiter's in your sign so you've got to make the most of it and you know if you want a relationship this is the month to channel it into that even though Mercury's retrograde. Now we have a full moon and it's a full moon that's going to give you a message about how to change your routines, your health and well-being, how to organise your shit so that your life flows much more smoothly and pleasantly. Mars is shifting signs, and again, you're super psychic this month, very, very intuitive. Strange and spooky magical experiences all the way through this month. But, you know, when it comes to relationships, sexual relationships, it's very positive, but you have to know where the boundary is. You have to really kind of double-check everything. You probably won't be clear on any of this stuff till early December. The sun goes into your sign. Yeah, baby, it's Sagittarius season. From the 22nd and that gives you confidence charisma and a sense that all is going to be well venus and jupiter conjunct in your sign also on the 24th there should be a high of fabulous experiences by the end of this month and you're like ah this is good i'm glad i came through everything and i'm still here to witness this fabulous uh the new moon is in your sign so super special on the 26th it's your birthday moon what does that mean you're reinventing yourself you are casting out the past. You are binning any baggage. You are getting ready, rid of the shady people and you are ready to step in to a new way of being. Also make a wish on that new moon and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you try it? You might be surprised. And the only thing I would say to you is be careful what you wish for because the cosmos is listening to you. So, you know, do that on the 26th. Now, Venus is leaving your sign on the 26th also. Cosmos gives with one hand, takes with the other. <laughs> no, it's not just taking because it's Venus is going into your second house of, of security and abundance of feeling safe. So that's got to be good news. Uh, that's about it. Let's see what the tarot have to say. Sagittarius, my darling. If you're not into tarot... Goodbye, see you next time, love you. If you are into tarot, use this symbolically and navigate this reading with, by using your intuition. Let's see, Sagittarius, November. Sagittarius, November. Sagittarius, November. What's occurring for you, my darlings? Let's have a little look. Sagittarius. You know, there might be a part of you that's doubting whether you can achieve what you want, whether you can cut through the crap to get what you want, particularly in terms of abundance, but you can do it. Your doubt is a bit of an illusion, you know, and there may be an opportunity for you to further yourself, either through education or a new job. You've got some great female friends around you. There's a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn coming into your home environment who wants to offer you something solid, who wants to talk about commitment in some way. You're a little bit unsure about what you want at the moment. Even if you think you want something, or even if you're in a relationship, there's a part of you sort of, you know, balancing up your needs. You're aware that you're going through a change 
It could also be a lover with an age difference or a, a, a friendship with an age difference, which is, it feels like meant to be. You gain great wisdom out of that relationship. Your heart is healed out of that relationship or friendship. Your outcome is fabulous if you listen to your inner voice, if you put away the doubts, if you trust your own power, if you start to go forward. I mean, you've got the wish card and the world here. I am not worried about you. Throw away the doubts. Keep building those foundations. <laughs> it's all here for you. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching, my lovely. Do come and visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L. I do interactive tarot every day and astrology. And if you want a free compatibility chart and your natal chart with all the details for free, michellenight.com. And also, if you love the astrology, horoscope.co.uk. See you there.